30 years ago, one of my daughters was born with severe disabilities and the doctors told me basically to put her in a home and have another baby. And I was so angry with that sort of advice that had no, it put no value into children who were seen as disabled, that I decided I needed to find a way to give her a good quality of life. I realized without sitting properly, she would never be able to communicate efficiently to other people. So I started building seating devices and her first electric wheelchair, she was driving at 18 months old. I'm Guillaume de Toy, I'm an industrial designer working at Schoenequip and worked on the Medieval to Go buggy, um, who was the great prize winner of the Innovation Award at Design and Arbor. The, the Mediba to go buggy is the latest incarnation in Schoenequip's line of products. Um, it builds on the, the legacy of the Mediba buggy, which was the original buggy which Shona McDonald developed uh, way back in the 90s, which has served incredibly um, throughout the country seating, seating children. With the use of design, we've now gone in and, and researched more into the function of the, of, the, of the product and the kind of extra needs that there might have been, um, taken, taken all the people into account. So not just from the user sitting in the chair, but the therapist actually doing the seating and then the, the caregiver also having to, to work with the product every day. So we've tried to take all those needs into account. We've now developed something which is quite modular just as robust as the previous one, but um, there's a lot more uh, features that you can adjust and customize to the, to the user. I had no expertise when I started out. I, I used to sculpt. I like creating things and I like solving problems. So I was working with a biomechanical engineer from UCT and taking ideas and we were sort of working out together, almost like building a puzzle to solve this problem because no wheelchairs at that time were made for the environments in which we need to use them in South Africa. My sister lived in the Karoo and there were thorns and you know uneven surfaces so it was really important that the devices work in South Africa. There's actually a lot more to wheelchairs that one realizes which is something I also realized when I first started working here. It was quite a steep learning curve um, that's one of the, the main aspects of Equip, and what the company prides itself on is the quality and the focus of its seating. So we're all about the actual seating of the client. The buggy itself has a, a, a kind of a, a bucket seating system and this offers full body posture support um, as well as head support etc. And this can really be customized to quite extreme seating postures which uh, buggy users are often the case. We have three main areas in the company. The one is obviously the technical, which is the design and the assembly, the manufacturing, and the provision of chairs to government and private sector and to funders. And then the, the other part, which it couldn't really run without, is the clinical services and the support and the training of healthcare professionals and people working in the rehab space. And then there's the foundation which provides all the advocacy, the lobbying, the training of caregivers and parents, the upskilling of people around disability and really creates the groundswell of awareness that, that can drive a whole change in society from charity and pity and, and negativism into one of social inclusion and possibility.